What's up guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics back with another canister shell kit. Um, this is a 24 kit by Raccoon Fireworks called Tiger Force. And these were 10 bucks more than the Ghost Tacular at 150 bucks, but you get six inch canister shells and there's also tails on it. Um, but still 24 canister shells, they look like that. Let's get this box flipped around here so we can take a look at the specs and um, the effects over there. So again, just like Ghost Tacular, uh, we've got volume loud, 60 grams. Um, obviously better be 60 grams if they are six inch canister shells. Display direction straight up. Bunch of colors in this thing, 24 shots, otherwise known as shells. Um, Multi-minute duration. Uh, so that must mean that they just last longer if you choose to light them one at a time. Um, but these are effect-based shells. We're gonna take a look at that here. So much like on the Ghost Tacular kit, Raccoon is really good about putting all of their effects here on the box, and they're also numbered, which is great. Because even this way, if you don't have the number coinciding on the shell, you can use this as a reference to your effects that are listed on the shell, and then create your own number system on the shell itself. So you might notice that the effects listed here are a lot longer than what we're typically used to, especially this one here in the bottom. Gold glittering willow tiger tail to colorful peonies to silver chrysanthemum. So some of these shells may be double break, but uh, don't quote me on that. We're gonna be seeing all 24 shells before the end of the video. We're gonna fuse them all up in a rack as well. Um, but just to give you an overview of these effects, a tiger tail in a way is kind of like a comet, something that follows the shell up in the air. So you have something to watch as it rises up and finally breaks into these color stars and crackling effects that you see over here. So this tiger tail is gonna follow that shell up and we'll be able to see that on video later too. Now it seemed like that one effect there on the end, shell number 24, might have been a double break. Um, but there's only one way we're gonna find that out, and that is by opening up the shell kit and taking a look at these shells. So that effect is gonna be right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one out, shake it around a little bit, see if there's two shells within this thing. All right, so as you can see, I got it out. This is shell number 24, the one with the super long effect that was on that box. Um, shaking it around, there's definitely not two shells in there. So yeah, these are just super effect-based shells and I think they're gonna be pretty cool. Um, we're gonna get them all loaded up into a rack, like I said, but before we do that, um, we always wanna take a look at the tube. Now, with the exception of these being six inch canister shells, I think this is gonna be a 15 inch tube, but I'm wrong. This is a 12 inch tube. You know, the 15 inch is not always necessary. Um, I just kinda like it because, um, I'll actually give you an example here on video. When you load the six inch shell into a 12 inch tube, it comes up about halfway there, and that's okay. It's still gonna go the same height in the air, but a 15 inch tube just looks cooler. Now, I don't have much more to say about these shells, but I do love that they are numbered and labeled for effect. Um, we see that consistently with these Raccoon shell kits, and that's why I continue to buy them. And we're gonna get these loaded up into a rack that I'm gonna show you right now. So this is the big 24 shot fiberglass mortar rack that we're gonna be using. If you guys would like the specifics and details on just exactly what this rack does and how we put it together and why we do the fusing down here, you should watch the Ghostacular canister shell video because I do an in-depth explanation on there that I'm not gonna do here. So without any further ado, we're gonna get these shells loaded up in the rack one through 24 and enjoy these effects one at a time. Tiger Force, oh man. <laughs> these are breaking huge. We got another camera angle on this too. So you'll be able to see that tiger tail better. Wow. <laughs> wow, those are hitting hard. <laughs> got the next 12. Oh wow. Sorry about the moon. It's kind of lighting up the background. Whew.
Wow, definitely some of the hardest hitting cans I've had in a long time.